All right, I'm here at the uh, Self-Reliance Expo in Pomona. I stopped by a booth called the Kodiak Adventure Products, and this trailer caught my eye because I've filmed other off-road trailers before, but I've never seen a trailer with a roll cage on it. This actually has a roll cage, so when you're going through the forest and you hit a tree, you're not going to damage your trailer. That is pretty cool. And I have my son in here already. Say hi. So he's, yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of room in here. You could fit two adults easily. Obviously, your feet go down there. And then obviously... Oh, let's take a look. So it's a nice little place to stick some valuables and people won't necessarily see it. Put the mattresses down. Also has four point recessed tie downs. So you can strap all your gear down in here and use the uh, mattress to protect them against the glass. Oh, okay. It also has uh, room darkening. They're actually blackout curtains and uh, they help to deaden the sound and give it, you can sleep, it's like a little, makes it really dark for sleeping. Gotcha, you don't have to worry about the sun waking you up. Nope, yeah. you don't. And it's got USB connectors in there. We can do entertainment systems in there. It's basically, sky's the limit So you can as, set this up any way you any want. Way yeah. you TVs, whatever. Uh -huh. Very cool. And then you have a vent on the top. Yes, that's a three-speed reversible fan that's thermostatically controlled. And all the lighting, all lighting is uh, LED, LEDs. so it's a low power draw. And I can show you on the other side, there's solar prep. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it'll, it'll close it'll lock. too. Mm -hmm. Very cool. So when you're camping out there in the woods, you don't have to worry about wolves coming in and get wolves, you. bears. Yeah. Bears, whatever. <laughs> Very cool. And then these are these look like 35 inch. Those are 35. 35s. And what we do is we'll uh, match the uh, wheel and bolt pattern on your Cheap rig, truck. so you don't have to have a spare. Oh, I got you. Yeah. That's awesome. I like the fact that it's flat too, because you can put stuff here. Exactly. Yeah. When yeah. You could actually yeah. stand on these. Oh wow. So yeah, they're built That's tough. to actually be used. So you can kind of use this as like a makeshift ladder if you want to stand here and reach yeah. your stuff on top. Mm -hmm. Cool. I'd put a rack up there if I got one of these. That'd be kind of cool. We would need the tree guards for a rack because we use the foam core construction. Oh, okay. So we, um, or we could talk about putting attachment points. This is kind of cool. This is from the off-road world. For, yep. That's for corner protection. And so. you got that. And that's out. the stabilization system down there. So you can you want to talk about how that works. Oh yeah. Just, yeah. Let's talk about the, the stuff stabilizer. Back here. Um, if you're, you basically have to get it into uh, a level position across the trailer. And once you have that, this takes up all the space. You, you tighten the ratchet strap and it takes the suspension out. So if you're in the trailer and you're, you know, roll over or whatever, there's no bounce to it. It just, it's rock solid. Yeah. Uh, and stuff. So it really, really uh, uh, keeps it uh, steady. Yeah. Very cool. Can you tell me a little bit more about the, this area back here, by the way? Yeah, the, the, this particular one has a pass through so you can have your automatic coffee maker and uh, set it up on a timer. Yeah. You don't have to get out in the morning to get it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And pretty much, uh, some of them come with fridges, it's built how you want. Some are just a shelf across here. You can do different storage mechanisms in here. You know, like we, we choose to use a lot of this kind of stuff so that yeah. you can just, like if I had utensils in here, I could lift it up, take it out to a picnic bench, yeah, right? exactly. You know? And you just turn it around and face the wall for transport and the doors don't come out. Yeah. Uh, this is where we have a drop table, 18 by 50. Mm -hmm. When it's traveling, this gets clipped up. This is a backup hold for the refrigerator and keeps your gear nicely tucked in. A camp kitchen like this one will fit right on this ledge here. So all this gear will fit in here? Yeah. Oh, okay. And then our systems are under here. We've got a little access port for fuses. So your 12 volt, your 110 circuit breakers for shore power, they're all in there. If you did need to get in for whatever reason, uh, just to service check it, and these just the quarter turn and this is your systems. Oh, you got easy access to everything in there. Yeah, so we use an AGM battery, 85 amp hour, uh, group 24, which is a really good size and an efficient size. This has a water system on board, so it's demand water to the side of the vehicle. So you can hook up a Coleman kitchen or a sink of oh, some nice. sort and have, front and have on demand water. Nice. It has 12 or 14 gallons on board underneath above the axle, so it can't get, you know, hurt. Oh, can you see it? Oh yeah, there it is right there. Yeah. This one has actually a solar connection on the side, so you can put panels out in the sun, since this will be oh, parked nice, in the shade nice, usually, nice, right? Nice. Yeah. So they're fitting in a short power. Um, all the terminals are lock washered down, so it's designed for washboard roads, so it doesn't nice. come, come apart. 
These run in general between yeah. 10 and 20. 10 and 20. And then this is more affordable? One, yeah, if you have a uh, just a wood interior, uh -huh. uh, it's about $2,500. Oh, start. okay. This one as it sits, it's carpeted, it has uh, a foam uh, linoleum, foam core linoleum on it. This one uh, runs about uh, $3,200. It's a plywood construction. It's screwed together. It's not stapled. It's very structural. Stop it. This having a separate uh, screen screen door is kind of nice. Be careful with that, Logan. And it has a pass through. Whoop, watch your hands on there. And uh, uh, you know you can pretty much outfit it however you want. This one has a roof rack on it. You, you know you can put vents on it. You put bigger tires and wheels on it it's just it's what everybody wants you know but you it's can, like a good starter yeah um, travel trailer and it's structural enough to handle a lot of terrain very cool go ahead and uh, say your website uh it's kodiak adventure products or kodiakap.com or extreme teardrops .com. there you go guys check these guys out if you're into off-road camping with a hard side small camper thanks a lot thank you